What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be talking about the differences between Facebook and TikTok ads and which platform is better. Now the reason why I decided to make this video is because TikTok ads may or may not be going public in the next month or so and I really just want to just grind out as much content and as much value as I can as far as TikTok ads go because I know that in the next month or so Everyone and their mother is going to be searching on YouTube for TikTok ads tutorials and currently I'm the only one making them. So if you guys have any suggestions as far as just help that you need with TikTok ads, questions, concerns, whatever, definitely drop a comment below because I'm going to be just grinding out these YouTube videos and releasing a ton of value before the platform goes public. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into it. <laughs> Okay, so at first, I just want to say that I definitely have a clear difference of experience levels with these two platforms. I've been on TikTok ads for a little over two months now, I think, and I've been on Facebook for over two years now. So there's definitely a large difference there in time. And I've also spent like around a million dollars on Facebook ads, and I've spent like 200000 on TikTok ads. So I definitely kind of understand the Facebook platform a lot more. Um, also adding to the fact that it's, it's older. So a lot of people understand it more and no one really understands TikTok, but I think I have enough of an understanding to give you a very good video on the comparisons between the two platforms and overall just helping you with your decision on which one to start. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. I think it's important to start with effectiveness because at the end of the day, that's what everyone is looking for. And I don't necessarily want to keep you on this video for, you know, 10 minutes if you don't want to listen to me talk for 10 minutes. And I'll just go ahead and tell you what the effectiveness of both of these platforms are. So Facebook ads are very, very tried, tested, proven, all that good stuff. You can easily, not easily, but you can definitely scale Facebook ads profitably to over $50,000 a day and spend. I know people that have done this. I have not. I have maybe spent like, 12k in a day um something like that anyway yeah facebook is very 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 scalable and this is not new it is just common knowledge tiktok no one really knows how far you can scale if people are scaling to those numbers then they're not sharing it the highest that i have scaled with tiktok ads is around six point six thousand dollars in a day in profitable spend now I could probably scale higher than this, but it's kind of just a point where it's uh, diminishing returns in a way, because if I scale higher and my profitability decreases, it's just not worth it. Um, but that was like that, that one circumstance. I'm sure that later down the line, once I get more experience and more knowledge about TikTok ads, I'm going to be able to scale it a lot, a lot higher. Because I will tell you, when I spent that $6,600 in a day, I had way more profit than I did when I spent 10K a day with Facebook ads. Another thing that really ties into the effectiveness portion with Facebook is that their normal CPMs on the platform, which is just their cost per thousand impressions, is around $5 to $10. On TikTok, it's somewhere around $1 to $2. And I've even seen CPMs as low as like 30 cents for major countries, which is absolutely insane. Also, Facebook only charges you whenever you get an impression. TikTok is not going to charge you until someone actually goes to your website. With Facebook, you can 100% get really cheap purchases, but in order to do so, you normally need a seasoned pixel, very good creatives, and a lot of knowledge on how to use the platform. With TikTok, I've gotten very cheap purchases with great creatives alone. I don't really know that much about the platform. And I certainly didn't have a seasoned TikTok pixel at the time. Lastly, Facebook is effective for a ton of different businesses. I know that I've used Facebook for my software, tons of e-commerce stores, and then if I ran any other businesses, well, in fact, my social media marketing agency used it for physical businesses and stuff like that. So it's useful for tons and tons of different businesses. With TikTok ads, it's a lot more concise as far as what actual businesses you can drive results for you can 
optimize for reach, which basically just means impressions. You can optimize for conversions, which would be useful for an e-commerce store. You can optimize for app installs, video views, and a couple of others, but that's frankly about it. So unless you have an app or an e-commerce store, then Facebook is probably going to be the way to go. All right, next, let's get into targeting because this is really, really important and it's just so vastly different between the two platforms. I think that you definitely need to know this. So with Facebook, I have no clue how many interests there are. I feel like it would be impossible to count unless they just came up with a number and gave it to us. But I know that they're constantly cycling in new interests, so that wouldn't really be possible. But I'm confident to say that there's over 10,000 specific single interests that you can target on Facebook. That means if you have a very specific product, for example, eyeglasses that are like Barbie and they also are for motorcycle riders, I don't know, that could work. With TikTok, you really only have about 45 interests to choose from, so your products need to be fairly broad in order for them to work. And those interests aren't actually that specific, like apps or social, or pets, those are all interests. And the, the targeting the people inside of those interests are not very, very specific. So yeah, just don't rely on interest targeting if you're gonna be using TikTok. When it comes to custom and lookalike audiences, Facebook obviously has the upper hand here. They've been, uh, they've been in this game for a little while, so they have dozens of different types of audiences that you can create. With TikTok, I was pleasantly surprised that they did have lookalike audiences but it's really only for clicks and for purchases. With Facebook, you can target basically the entire world. I'm pretty sure there's over 200 countries that you're able to target on Facebook. And with TikTok, it's actually, it's not too specific, but it's not too broad either. You have the major countries, so US, UK, Canada, and Australia. And then you also have about 25 other countries that you can choose from. Now, if your account gets approved, you may have to request the ability to target outside of the US or to target the US or to target the United Kingdom. There's really just a ton of different countries that you may or may not have and you may or may have to request them. Lastly, with Facebook, you can really narrow down your target audience. That means that you can go and target people that are like 35 through 39 who have clicked on an ad within the past two weeks and it's just very, very specific. With TikTok, they have much more basic targeting, which means the ages are grouped. So it's about like four. So like 16 through 20 is one age. Also, you can filter through like the genders, which is helpful, but really it's, it's super, super basic compared to Facebook. All right, so when it comes to policies, I think that this is also important to address because both platforms have their flaws and these can be in incredibly detrimental, frankly, and both of them have probably cost me tens of thousands of dollars. So with Facebook, if you're drop shipping, there's like a 95% chance that eventually you're gonna get your ad account disapproved or disabled or your profile disabled or your page disabled or frankly just something is going to go wrong because they don't like you. They also have very strict page satisfaction scores so you really have to be super aware of the customer experience that you're producing. Also, their ad approval is actually very good. I really don't have many disapproved ads on Facebook, and I know that when I launch an ad, normally it gets approved within about 30 minutes. There are some occasional mistakes with ad disapprovals, but with Facebook, they're very rare, at least from my perspective, and I wouldn't say that it's anything to worry about. With TikTok, the biggest problem as far as their policies go are ad disapprovals. They're very, very strict with ads that they allow on their platform. And even if your ads are fully compliant with their policies, there's like a 90% chance that you're gonna run into issues eventually. I would even say it's a 100% chance because just tons and tons of my ads get disapproved, even if they've already been approved dozens of times. And frankly, it makes no sense. I think that the reason for this is that, to my knowledge, all the reviews are done manually and different people do the reviews obviously. So people just make a lot of mistakes. And I think that if they were to switch over to an AI review process like Facebook ads, then this problem would essentially be solved. 
In addition, there's no paid satisfaction score with TikTok. So although you really should always provide a good customer experience, it's not necessarily something that's going to mess up your ads. Also, a lot of the time, my ads will take a couple of days to get approved with TikTok, which is really, really a pain in the ass because when you're trying to scale something up and you want to launch $1,000 in spend or $10,000 in spend or whatever, and it takes days for that to start spending, that can really mess up the momentum that you currently have. All right, now let's talk about availability because this is probably the worst part about TikTok ads. Now availability is, it's tough um, for TikTok ads. Like it seems like they're letting a lot more people inside the platform due to the public release that may or may not be coming soon. But you really do need to be aware that um, with the availability, as far as information goes, there's almost none on TikTok. I've looked around and this is really the reason why I'm making this video and why I've made videos in the past because no one else is. And unless you have the money to spend and test with TikTok, it's really, really tough to learn what to do because frankly, there's just very little information um, besides a TikTok created blog that has some pretty basic but useful information regarding the ad platform. With Facebook, not only can you immediately jump into their ad platform, but there's also a ton of information out there. One quick YouTube search brings up hundreds of videos, plus you got courses and blog posts and tons of other stuff. Moving on to the pros of each platform. With Facebook, your ads and your results are gonna be very consistent and predictable. I know that my Facebook ads really don't fluctuate too much day to day. Also, another really good advantage of Facebook is that their pixel is incredibly advanced and it tracks purchases extremely well. It also knows what it's doing as far as finding buyers go. In addition, with Facebook, there's a very broad range of placements and platforms like Facebook, Instagram, automated placements, stuff like that. Also, they have tons of very, very good interests and audiences themselves as far as lookalike audiences and custom audiences go. In addition, with Facebook, a ton of products can work because they just have a huge, broad audience. They have old people, young people, girls, boys, like everyone is on Facebook or Instagram. With TikTok, it's so unsaturated and that is the best pro right now. Who knows what that's going to look like in a couple of months, but right now, it's just, it's stupid. It's super, super cheap to advertise on TikTok and you can get some really, really cheap purchases if you know what you're doing. It's also pretty beginner friendly as far as just like learning the platform goes because it's similar to, the, to Facebook and the aspect of just creating campaign shelves. If you have the budget to test, like I mentioned earlier, then you can definitely figure out how to drive results with TikTok and it's, it's probably a lot cheaper than Facebook in order to do so. Another good part about TikTok is that their support is fantastic. I have a personalized rep, so it's a lot better for me. And I know that all advertisers on TikTok do not have that. But if you do have a rep, and I don't know what their public customer service looks like, but if you do have a rep, then the support is just, it's spot on. In addition, TikTok ads can be scaled extremely quickly. There's been multiple times where I've just doubled or tripled my ad spend in a single day. And my profit has just gone way, way, way up. If you do that with Facebook, most likely your profit is going to drop dramatically, at least for a couple of days. In addition, with TikTok, you can start with about $300. Now, I, I don't necessarily know this, so don't quote me on this because I certainly started with a lot more. But I know that in order to get profitable, it took me less than $300 with TikTok. All right, so now let's talk about the cons of each platform. With Facebook, their support is, um, is poor, to say the least. I have a rep with Facebook too, but just frankly, it's, it's not good. Um, also, you're almost guaranteed to have account issues. I mean, I've had tons of banned ad accounts, um, banned pages, all this stuff, and I, I don't break policies. It's just, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah, Facebook sucks for dropshippers. You also have very high competition and very high saturation. That means products can die extremely quickly. The life cycle of your average winner is only a couple of months now on Facebook. 
And there's also very high CPMs in order to advertise. This comes with a higher learning curve and I would say that you need at least $800 to become profitable with Facebook ads. With TikTok, one of the biggest cons is that there's a smaller range of products that you can sell because you can't really sell something that's specifically targeted towards an individual niche, especially if it's a smaller niche. So you also need to kind of stick to like lower ticket products in my opinion. I would say in my experience, products anywhere from like $15 to $30 do really well on TikTok. Now, I think that this is kind of balanced out because of the whole saturation thing. I don't really know if or when products get saturated on TikTok, but I do know that you can take a saturated product on Facebook and then move it over to TikTok and you're going to do fine. Another really big issue that I've had with TikTok is that there's almost constant issues with ad sets spending their full budget or just any budget at all. And I also get tons and tons of ad disapprovals for absolute BS policies that I'm not breaking. So that's definitely worth keeping in mind. There's definitely workarounds to both of those issues, but there's still a pain in the ass. Another big con with TikTok is that it's not open to the public yet. Like I said, there's a very good chance that it will be within the next month. Another bad part about TikTok ads is they're very spontaneous. It's hard to rely on TikTok ads because your revenue can literally drop 50% in a day. It's normal. It's just, it blows my mind coming from using Facebook ads so constantly. Another bad part about TikTok is that you can't moderate comments. That means if people are just like trash talking you in the comments, you can't reply, you can't delete them, you can't do anything except sit it there. You can turn off comments, which is good. But yeah, I mean, frankly, I, I don't really like to do that because I want people to be able to trust me. And a lot of people just comment random BS on your product without even buying it. So it would be nice to at least have some type of comment moderation. The last really big con with TikTok is that there's a lack of information available. I've really just had to resort to like networking and stuff like that in order to kind of figure out what's working for other people as far as TikTok ads go. So I really hope that these kinds of videos help you because again, there's just no one else making them right now. So let's come to a conclusion. Should you use TikTok or should you use Facebook? Here is my recommendation. Frankly, I think you should do both. They have been so, so powerful for me when combined. My sole TikTok store that was just running TikTok ads did great, but it was just very, very unpredictable. And that's not the best for profit margins. But if you do both, then you can have a consistent basis of revenue. You can also scale them to the moon using TikTok or even using Facebook. I think depending on your niche, depending on your product, depending on your experience level, TikTok may not be the right option, but I would say for most dropshippers, it's a great platform and I highly recommend that you start. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm hoping that you got a ton of value out of it and I really, really hope that if this video didn't encourage you to start TikTok ads, just go ahead and start them anyway. As long as your business fits in the categories that work with TikTok ads, then there's really no reason not to. And I highly encourage you, if you're watching this video in early to mid June, when TikTok ads are still beta only, just go ahead and apply because I have a feeling once they go public, it's really, really going to be tough to get the same results that we're getting currently just because of the influx in competition and advertisers. So I definitely recommend that you hop on the platform if you are not already and then just go check out the rest of my TikTok ads tutorials for some more value and some more information about crushing it with TikTok ads. Thank you again for watching this video. Really appreciate it. Don't forget that big red subscribe button on your way out and I'll see you in the next one. Well, these groupie hoes running trying to hunt me down. Now every day feeling like the best day ever. Heard it's a long road, better get way better.